Thomas says, I need help. Well, all of us do, really. But <laughs> Some more than others. Uh, and it's sure, okay sure. to ask. Really. It's, yeah. it's good. It's good. Uh, asking for a friend. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it, acknowledging your your weakness is the, the start to the recovery the first process. Step. The first uh, step. One of my students have lost his notes in OneNote, uh, at least the last days of notes. There are some there, but most is gone. I have admin in our Office 365, but I'm not sure how, if it's possible, if I could fix this. Well, depending on when this question was done, I'm sure that the student, they've either rectified it or the student has given up and had to redo everything. Uh, but OneNote itself actually has a built-in backup functionality. It has auto backup, just like all the other, I think all of Microsoft uh, apps now have auto backup, I believe. And actually it's kind of, ones, yeah. yeah, well, it's kind of annoying too, um, because they have that little switch now up on the top left um, for auto. Refresh. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Um, but yeah, they all have that auto backup feature. And I mean, apps like Word and Excel have had it, oh my yeah. gosh. So you got the versioning. I, yeah, I, I love the uh, file versioning that you get right through File ex, uh, Explorer now. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's you, part of that. It's enabled because of that backup. Yeah, the extensions. But people, the funny thing is, people don't know about that file versioning. They, you know, they're they're like they don't even know that you can actually go back and look at different versions of files. Well, if they had read my blog when I blogged <laughs> about it a few weeks back, then they would know. Shameless plug. Yeah, Mon yeah, Monthlyplanet.com yeah. and my productivity tips, I covered that. <laughs> but for, for this situation, um, you know, uh, unless they turn specifically turn auto backup off um, and they're not saving their OneNote in the cloud, because you can save it to OneDrive. Right, so you can automatically set OneDrive as the notebook location, or you can even put SharePoint as the notebook location. Same um, thing. Yeah, yeah, well. Technically. <laughs> technically, technically, yes. Uh, you know, uh, but if they're not, if they turn that off for some reason, then you know, you, you're not going to be able to recover that. So hopefully, you didn't shoot yourself in the foot. Yeah, or there's not. Uh, students, so maybe there's a policy. Maybe you should find out, you know, that there's a, if there are any policies that the admin uh, for 365 has put in place. Um, you raise a to, good point, Mike. Yeah, to automatically back up that stuff or not back up that stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how many problems that are out there be that are backup related? It's, it's why, and, and, not just because I work for an ISV that has backup solutions, but I mean, you have oh, like there's God. a Forrester and Gartner have both said that uh, no matter what there is out of the box, that there is still a strong case to be made for third party backup as well as more granular controls around this space. Mike what's Shaken funny? said no, but Sean understands. Well, I, what's funny is that backups becoming a commodity. Backup yeah. recovery is oh, becoming it's been for a while. They, yeah. Well, it has been, but I mean, even cloud providers are building it in, right? The, it's not as as uh, you know, it uh, doesn't offer as many features, but some people are just willing to flip the switch. So when you create now, if you go into Azure and you create a VM, uh, you're going through the wizard process or you're going through the template process. Um, there's actually a switch. Turn on backup this VM. Uh, you know, so it's that simple now. It's not uh, it's not as hard as it was before, but it's still not as detailed as you can get with some of these these third party products that offer all kinds of different features and ways of backing up and uh, targets to back up to and so on and so forth. Yeah, I back my tenants up to a NAS. Synology does a really nice job of integrating with uh, Microsoft 365. How I much do you use... need that NAS though in your basement there, Sean? Because are, isn't it there just to get you through the winter months, just the warmth, <laughs> the heat that comes off that thing? <laughs> you would think. Speaking of slowly failing downstairs, it's ow! hell. He's back. <laughs> Great segue. Yeah. <laughs>